Really? All the trees are frosted right now because the dew in the morning sticks to them and they freeze because it gets so cold out. But it, it makes for a nice drive. How's it going? Uh, I need to get a road pass from you guys. Thank you very much. There's 16 inches all the way across or what? Advice? Yeah. More. More. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yep, good luck. What's up? What's up How you doing? Dude, I've seen your YouTube video. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm camping out in the truck on the ice tonight. I didn't bring it. Didn't bring a tent. Yeah. You coming? Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah, you too. All right, so. Whenever I'm driving on ice, I like to roll down the window and I like to not have a seatbelt on because in the case that the car did go through, uh, one, your door is going to be suctioned in if your window's up. So the water pressure is going to make your door kind of stick. So this is just so you can get your door open if you, if you do go all the way under and then the seatbelt off is kind of self-explanatory. If my truck starts going in, I can just open the door and jump out we are officially on the ice right now so we're not very deep i'm gonna plug my seat belt in behind me so it doesn't ding we aren't very deep right now it's probably only about a foot here but we're gonna be driving on top of like 14 to 15 feet of water this lake doesn't get very deep so you can see that they use black uh like posts in the snow little yardsticks or whatever to mark out where the road is for when it's like this because you can't really see anything out here besides these black sticks. You can see the road's fairly wide. I mean, it's pretty giant. If this is like a, a regular road, it would be like a five laner, four laner with a median, I don't know. So that looks like a sketchy area where somebody could have gone in or at least there's some thin ice. All right, if you guys remember last time when I walked over this crack, it was fine when you were walking, but so it's just a big chunk of metal, just disperses the weight more, gets over the crack, make sure there's not any problems, because you can see Well, that's not that bad. Probably be fine. And then here's an old boy hard at work, right here, plowing out some roads. This is where that uh, 15 bucks goes toward. What direction are the fish at? Oh, that way. Out this way? All right, I'm gonna go check it out. See, it gets a little washboarded. You guys ever find yourself doing this? Uh, do not drive fast on the ice. It creates like a wake underneath the water and it can make uh, make problems for you and make problems for other people. Also, don't fry with veggie oil. Don't do it. There you go. All right. Let's try here. That's a lot of ice. Already, Mark, come on. First drop. First drop, dude, are you serious? Oh, that was a, was that a crappie? I came out here on a whim because I thought, I've never came to this north side of the lake and that's where people say they catch crappies all the time. There 
I got something. Oh, it's a walleye. It was a walleye. That's an eater though. Let's go, baby. Gotta stop saying that. Stop, 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 stop. He's trying to wiggle his way back to the hole. 15. Oh my god, it's a white fish? What is this? Dude, it's a moon eye. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. It's like as big as a white fish. Oh my. Come on. Thing's kind of stinky. That's insane. All right, see ya. I usually don't freak out about catches, but I was <laughs> not, I was not expecting that at all. Right now, so now I can keep one over. If you've never ice fished before, this is part of the video where you're gonna be like, What the heck is this guy doing? This is a tip up, and what we do with the tip up, a live minnow, put it on a big bladed jig like that, use whatever jig you want. I like the big bladed styles. Brought our fish finder over here to see when the uh, minnow is close to the bottom, and I have a little knot on my line here. And then this part is the tip up section. Now we'll open the bale on our rod, leave it there. That's our set line, so when the fish pulls, it'll pull that little piece off of there and it'll fling the flag up since it's spring-loaded. Oh, what was that? Oh, dude, I lost it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Not gonna talk about it. Sometimes I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I film myself. Did he get off? Oh my god, that was a big fish too. <sighs> Damn, dude. Damn it. <sighs> Maverick. Why do I suck at my job? Ah! This thing just went off. Got him. Fish on, baby. Doesn't feel super big. Another walleye. Whoa. He's definitely under. So he's going back home. It's a lot of action. I've only been out here for like 45 minutes and got four or five fish. I'm marking a lot. It's good fun. So if you guys didn't see my last video of me camping out overnight out here, uh, this is a rattle reel. Just as a dead stick. Pull it, bell rings, blah, blah, blah. You kind of get the gist of it. It's like a tip-up, but it has a bell in it. Um, I got my tip-up set up. There's two lines allowed per person in Minnesota, so we had to go, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get cooking on some fish. Not even, like, 10 minutes have gone by since... serious that minnow it's like half the size of that perch what the heck all right there we go fresh walleye fillets Ooh.
It's been a while since I had some walleye. I gave all the last fish away to my grandma. Seriously, if you guys fry your fish in veggie oil, you're sick in the head. Fry in canola oil or peanut oil and tell me that you don't taste a difference. And I don't want comments from those hardcore guys that don't give a shit what they eat, you know? They put like mayo on their PB&J just to prove a point, you know what I'm saying? Like, those people don't matter to me because they will literally eat anything. I don't care what I eat. I have one friend that's like that, actually. He will eat whatever. It's kind of weird. Their food doesn't have to taste good for them to be manly or something. Um, you can try it. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. Well, that came and went really fast. Uh, you guys aren't going to believe what I did. You aren't going to believe what I did. Um, I was going to go clean all this stuff up. About to go take a pee. Walked around to the front side of the truck. I was like, oh, cool. My light bar's on. Not cool, because that's hooked up to my main battery. Came on inside here. I'm like, good chance that it maybe, maybe it could start. And it's a no from me. So we're going to shut the light bar off first. My truck is very upset with me. Luckily, I'm not as stupid as I look. Voila! I might be stupid, but I'm not that stupid, am I? Okay, yeah, I am. Yeah! You guys need one of these things? Uh, I'll leave the link to the one that I'm using here in the description. If I can't find it, I'll leave just one that looks like it has a bunch of good reviews. Cause that's a lifesaver right there. If you're traveling around by yourself a lot, definitely a must have. It would've been kind of a horrible night, honestly, sleeping in a truck that's dead. I'm watching you. I don't really hang out like in the driver's seat usually when I truck cam, and I don't know why. Cause this is like obviously the nicest place to sit up in the truck. Didn't really catch too many fish after cooking them up. You can see that people have these like crazy lights in their houses. You can see all around the lake. Well, that's not people. That's my truck. People have different colored lights out here to so they can find it. That one's like kind of purpley. You can see there's some cars driving out right now. Middle of the night. Well, middle of the night, it's 710. It's not the middle of the night, really. All right, it's like 830, 21 degrees, and it's really freaking hot in here. And it's making me sleepy. I'm not gonna lie, it's making me really sleepy. Not too shabby besides this boy. Night, night time. It's nice and warm in here now. Hopefully it stays that way. I think at its coldest, it's only supposed to get to like 10 degrees tonight. So we'll be good. Good night. It's chilly. Never sleep in a sleeping bag with your face in it because condensation is not your friend. It might be really tempting to go and do this when you're really cold. Like that. 
It's like the opposite of what you want to do. Another good time to catch fish is in the morning. So let's get outside. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of finding my goddamn sock. No. Yeah, it's definitely a lot colder this morning than it was last night. I left this out all night, so nothing really happened to it, it looks like. All right, that about does it. I'm gonna pack everything up and get the heck out of here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. If you liked this video, if you made it this far, uh, consider giving it a like, consider subscribing. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.